The increased demand for steel during the World Wars made Chicago area steelmaker, Inland Steel, one of the country's most powerful corporations by the 1950s. To celebrate their success, the company hired Chicago architecture firm Skidmore, Owings and Merrill to design a new Inland Steel headquarters in the center of Chicago's downtown. Unlike speculative buildings, corporate headquarters are lavish advertisements for the residing company. They create an identity as part of the function of a headquarters with impressive facades, opulent lobbies, and posh executive offices. Since Inland Steel's growth centered on advances in steel properties during World War II, the corporate headquarters was to showcase steel and other post-war technologies. Improvements in steel enabled Skidmore, Owings and Merrill to use a clear span construction. 14 exterior columns support the entire building and suspended between these ribs are 60-foot girders that support each floor. This facilitated an open plan in which expansive space was an aesthetic in itself. To preserve this open plan, elevators and utilities were placed in a 25-story windowless tower adjacent to the 19-story main office building. Consolidating the building's mechanical and electrical systems in an adjacent tower facilitated large blocks of office space with deeper floor areas. This meant that growing companies could adapt their floor space to meet their changing needs. As Chicago's first fully air-conditioned building, the Inland Steel Building made use of space in the center of the building, far from windows. Fifty years earlier, office spaces were designed around a central light and air well to maximize access to light and increase air circulation in the building. Air conditioning eliminated the need for these light and air wells and created 15% more rentable space in the mid-20th century commercial buildings. As intended, the Inland Steel Building became a unique institutional identification for the Inland Steel Company and the poster child for high modernism in Chicago.